Hey guys, Steph here, coming at you in my onesie. I love onesies. All right, anyway, sorry. Um, I want to talk to you about two lines that you can say to yourself when you notice yourself in obsessive spin that could kind of break this cycle a little bit. The first thing you want to ask yourself is, is this helpful? Right? It doesn't really matter. We can go down and around and all over again and again and again with the same obsession over and over again. But like there might be, there's usually no end point to it, right? Like you just go in a circle, it eats at you, it, um, it pretty much destroys you if you let it. And it really doesn't matter what the content is about. Um, if you can stay at a distance, is this actually helping me or improving my quality of life at all? That sometimes, that will help break it in its tracks or stop it in its tracks, I should say. Because you're seeing what you're doing from a meta standpoint and you're like, in the scheme of things, is this helping my life? Is this helping me? And if it's not, then it's not worth giving my attention to. So then you can choose to turn yourself to something that is helpful. This is kind of like a spin of what I said in my previous videos, like changing your focus. So every action you take is benefiting your life in some way. And you can classify this as, this is not helping me. I'm not going to resort to this or continue down the actions that come with this obsession. I have a choice to not do this. Um, and this brings me to my next point, which is, is it, pro um, is it productive or is it destructive? Again, these are just qu guiding questions that help you break the loop, per se, um, so that you're able to see what you're doing before you continually engage in it. It doesn't matter how far away, far along you are in the obsession, as long as you can ask yourself this question, that should help kind of steer you in a better direction. So again, you want to ask yourself, is this helpful? Is it kind? And if it's not, what else could I do to see it for what it is and move on to something else? And the other one, is it productive or is it destructive? So it kind of gives you like a format for how to approach these obsessions. If it's productive, usually obsessions are not productive. Um, usually they're destructive. So then you can turn your attention to something else. I hope this was helpful. Please feel free to reach out to me. Sorry, leave a comment. And I will talk to you soon.